Wow, this Russian thing is developing so fast. Yeah, it's so cool. fast. It's, it's a new thing every day. And here's the, the crazy thing. Uh, it, it is only, you know, getting out in the public because of White House whistleblowers. Mm. No one knows who these people are. Right. right. Wow. And Donald wow. Trump is getting very frustrated, and he thinks he may have found the source of these leaks. I think that President Obama is behind it because his people are certainly behind it. And some of the leaks possibly come from that group. I don't see how Obama could be behind these leaks. I mean, he'd have to be in Trump's inner circle. I mean, we have a picture of Trump in his cabinet, don't we? Okay, now pull out Jimmy. Aha! <laughs> ah! 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 He's so clever. But this is great news for me, because if Donald Trump thinks the leaks are coming from Obama, that means he hasn't caught on to my super-secret source inside the White House. Which means it's time for another edition of Late Show Presidential Leakrets. <laughs> Welcome to Late Show Presidential Leakrets. Now, I'm about to speak with my super-secret source, high up in the Trump administration, to protect his or her identity. We have dimmed the lights and put him or her behind a screen. Hello, anonymous source. Hello, Stephen. Well, I'm, I'm glad your voice is still disguised. Me too. Uh, the machine has two settings now. It has this low mode, or... I can switch it to a John Baptiste setting. Wow. That... That really... That really sounds like John. Yeah! Where you at, y'all? <laughs> so, tell me, tell me, anonymous source, what is the mood of the White House right now? Well, you know the phrase, whistling past the graveyard? Yeah, I've heard that. It's like that, but no whistling. <laughs> it's just all graveyard. So they're pretty upset about this Jeff Session news? Well, a little, but mostly they're upset about Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom's breaking up. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get any more romantic than naked paddle boarding. <laughs> and we all know Orlando Bloom has quite the paddle. Okay, but it's clear now Sessions met with the Russian ambassador twice before the election, but that he denies discussing the campaign. How deep do Sessions' ties with the Russians go? Oh, really, really deep. Russia is, of course, the home of the enchanted tree where Session and his family bake all those cookies. Yeah. His code name is E.L. Fudge. How, how do you know that? Let's just say a little bird told me. Well, uh, any idea of where Trump goes from here? At this point, everybody knows they've got to appoint a special prosecutor. Okay, who will that be? Well, uh, they got a lot of names floating out there, but right now it's been cut down to either former Solicitor General Ted Olson or Trump's choice, Matt Locke. <laughs> He'd be good. He'd be really good. Now, this Sessions business is overshadowing Trump's very well-reviewed address to Congress. Did the president write his speech himself? No. Uh, that speech was written by having a thousand monkeys type for a million years. So Steve Bannon didn't have any input at all? I didn't say that. Bannon, uh, Bannon brought the monkeys over from Breitbart. They're, uh, white supremacists. Now, there are rumors that different factions are fighting in the White House. Is that true? Yes. In fact, they're fighting in the pit that Trump had installed under the Oval Office. This morning, Kellyanne Conway gutted an intern with Reince Priebus's sharpened femur. Wait, wait. Does that mean Reince Priebus is dead? Only the first one. His clones are fine. Well, can, can you tell us why the president still refuses to release his taxes? 
He's just a really modest guy and doesn't want people to know about the millions of dollars he gives to charity every year. I would never have guessed that. Because it's not true. It's, uh... It's all Russia stuff. He claimed Putin as a dependent. Isn't that right, little bird? Everybody, we'll be right back with Hugh Jackman.